My name is Liang, and an unimaginable disaster has occurred around me. When I woke up, a group of corpses were dancing outside. I am now very anxious and a bit excited. Because I took a sip of water not long ago and it tasted a bit sweet, and then my whole body became excited. Wait a moment, I just saw the news and found out that I'm wearing the corpse brother. What should I do? I shouldn't be going to mutate, should I? I'm waiting online, so urgent. If it's really not possible, then I'll have the freedom to play, jia 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 at first, Leon, who had traveled to the world of brother corpse, was very panicked, but later his smile gradually turned abnormal. Looking back, the various forces faced Leon, who had become a madman. Brother Zashi. Spicy. Li Li Li, don't come over on Blood Lotus sect leader. Master An, I think it would be more appropriate for you to sit on the position of the sect leader. Immortal Master. Almsgiver An, as long as you can restrain yourself, I can infuse you with 180 years of skill. If not, I will sing, on the moon, for you. Please don't gotcha anymore. Long Yu. Li Ang, you are truly my lifelong enemy. Golden Lion Riddle. Li An, this bastard, can't finish milk, can't even finish milk. Black Fire Line Dodge Ya Fong. Li An, how dare you tear down my house? I'm really. Cough, Emperor An, I admit it was because I spoke too loudly just now that I disturbed you. I'm sorry. Qing Long. It's certain that Liang can become our guardian. How do I feel that something is wrong? The masters of Hell's Gate. It's done. Who on earth brought this calamity to Leon? Help, I'm so panicked. I need to go out. I want to go home. Leon sighed helplessly as he looked at the frightened and numb group of big shots. I just want to live, what's wrong with me? Keywords of the novel. Man in the corpse brother, becoming a mad man without a pop-up window, man in the corpse brother, becoming a mad man download the complete txt collection, man in the corpse brother, becoming a mad man read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Drinking water, are you telling me this is brother corpse? You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 1. Drinking water, are you telling me this is brother corpse? Either I am crazy, or the world is crazy. My name is Leon, and an unimaginable disaster has occurred around me. When I woke up, there were already a group of corpses dancing outside. The streets are littered with zombie monsters, and from their clothing and rough appearance, it can be distinguished that these monsters were all humans during their lifetime. Among them are elderly people leaning on crutches, students carrying backpacks, as well as office workers wearing suits, leather shoes, and short skirts and stockings. For some unknown reason, these people all mutated and behaved like zombies in horror movies. Whenever they saw something alive, they would become targets for them to attack and eat. Once someone was knocked down, the next scene was not just bloody, it was a nightmare for a normal person for a lifetime. Moreover, the vitality of these zombies is even more abnormal than that of the invincible Xiaoqiang. Even if they only have their upper body left, they can still crawl quickly while opening their bloody mouths to pounce on others. Anyone who sees this ghost rushing towards them will have a tingling scalp and an explosive mentality, shouting, Mom. Some zombies undergo more magical mutations and evolution in their bodies after gnawing on each other, even directly challenging the origin of species. For example, some mutated zombies have twisted and flipped limbs, flying like spiders on eaves and walls, and they have four heads extending from their slender necks. The four faces are divided into men, women, and children, with expressions of joy, anger, sorrow, and joy. There are also giant zombies like centipedes, whose bodies can reach up to seven or eight meters long. They crawl like a roller, and wherever they pass, the cement ground is crushed and cracked. They are made up of numerous zombies, and the so dot called centipede legs are actually the hands and feet of these zombies. Under their abdomen, they can still see faces that are either painful or excited. Some zombies even have no head, 
but they can grow a fleshy tentacle from a broken neck, like a sunflower. The front end of the tentacle is a big eyeball, blinking and blinking, looking very ghostly. At this moment, this one-eyed zombie is walking around the supermarket entrance on one side of the street, with big eyeballs scanning back and forth on his head. Countless granulation buds are wriggling inside his cracked sternum, and his canine teeth are uneven on both sides, resembling a large mouth that devours people, occasionally making a sound of sucking. At this moment, the other party's big eyes suddenly swept in the direction of the hotel next to the street. I'll go. At this moment, Liang, who was hiding at the window on the fourth floor of a hotel on this street and observing in secret, was frightened and shivered all over. He thought he had been discovered, until the big eyeball quickly shifted to another place after glancing at him. Liang patted his chest in a panic, feeling that life was really exciting. He remembers last night at the company's team building dinner, at the table. Recently, he has won several good projects for the company and has become a popular figure around the manager. Many colleagues came over to toast with great enthusiasm, and Liang was already too drunk. He felt drunk halfway through the meal. Liang doesn't remember much about what happened afterwards. He only knows that the company's manager, Ms. Wang, took advantage of her drunkenness and crazily wiped oil on his tall and attractive figure, even resorting to physical abuse. This makes Li Ang very frustrated. At least Wang Jie is also a company manager, but she doesn't talk about martial arts at all. She took advantage of him being drunk to launch a surprise attack, bah. If it weren't for his drunkenness, he would have had to fight against Sister Wang, who has a good appearance and figure, for 300 rounds to condemn her shameless behavior. I had a hangover all night, and by the time Liang woke up, I was already in this hotel. There was no Miss Wang or those attentive colleagues around me. My phone, wallet, and car keys were gone, and even the outside had turned into a zombie disaster scene. At first, Liang thought he had stumbled into a scene where a zombie horror film was being filmed thinking that those so dot called zombies were all actors pretending, but it wasn't until a chubby guy downstairs was pulled out of the supermarket by the zombies, and their chubby body was torn apart by the zombies. They squatted in a circle and feasted on the boss. That scene is just like the situation in the animal world where hyenas dig out the anus of a hippopotamus and eat it around. But the problem is that the fat man is not a hippopotamus, but a living person. What's wrong with others? It could just be a trip from a fat house to the supermarket to buy happy water, but before we get home, our intestines and even our brains are torn apart everywhere. Liang felt like his stomach was churning with water, and with a whoosh, he sprayed out on the spot, vomiting all over the bed. That bloody scene couldn't be too real. The chubby and hoarse scream still seemed to ring in Leon's ears, reminding him all the time. This is absolutely not acting, this is the reality of the bloody forest. You need to quickly and honestly shrink up, otherwise the zombies will find you. Those things will take a bite, puff, 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 and even the blood won't be wiped clean, and they will tear you apart and eat you, asking if you will die or not. Looking at the hell outside now, if Leon wanted to say he didn't panic, he probably wouldn't even believe himself. At this moment, he was trembling and sweating profusely, almost scared to death. Although Leon has always had a good mentality and is very hardworking, whether in college or working in a company after graduation, he always tries his best to be excellent, even achieving remarkable results. Leon believes that as long as he works hard for another year or two, the position of manager is within reach. However, in the face of this disaster, is hard work really useful? On weekdays, Leon has watched many horror movies and zombie movies, such as the Resident Evil series and even the Walking Dead series. I remember one time Leon seriously thought that if one day he traveled to the world of Walking Dead, he would become a good person like Rick. He will still become a bad person like Sean. Or it could be becoming a saint like Morgan step by step. Even holding a baseball bat and bang bang on the head, the ruthless Negan wanted to take control of everything. Human nature is too complex. When the end of the world truly comes, will there really be boundaries between good and bad, 
right and wrong just looking back, wanting to think back, after all, they are all illusory things. Now that Leon really has come to the zombie world, the real plasma spurt makes him feel like he's in hell for a while, but he's afraid and afraid. The desire to live is also extremely real. Take a deep breath, calm down, as long as you're not crazy, you'll still have a chance to live. Leon doesn't believe that people all over the world have turned into zombies. Perhaps there will be official people coming to search and rescue him. He just needs to patiently wait here. Of course, it may be his own extravagance, and even if there are other organizations, he may already be in danger. However, no matter what, we must not lose hope. It depends on human factors, and hard work may not necessarily have a chance. Without hard work, in such an apocalypse, there is no qualification to struggle for survival. Leong licked his lips, glanced at the mineral water on the bedside table, unscrewed the bottle cap, and started drinking. He thought it was better to replenish his energy first, and then carefully consider the situation and coping methods he would face next. At that moment, the official news playing on the LCD TV in the room instantly caught his attention. H-City is currently experiencing a large dot-scale virus infection, and a large number of people have been infected and mutated. The city government has called on citizens to temporarily refrain from going out, let alone drinking tap water. All nine special forces from the Yen and Huang dynasties have entered H-City for search and rescue operations This is an unknown novel virus that, upon entering the human body, rapidly accelerates the metabolism of cells, further damaging the brain tissue and giving it an impulse to eat living organisms. Once other organisms, including humans, are consumed, their genes will immediately undergo mutations. The more species of organisms consumed, the more severe the mutations, based on existing clues, this virus temporarily only spreads in tap water. Although the mutated individuals are similar to zombies in movies, they are not infected by a single bite. Moreover, these infected individuals have poor eyesight and can't see clearly at night like normal people. However, after many mutations, their form and attack power will become very terrifying. Enthusiastic netizens think that this mutation seems to possess Sun Wukong's 70.2 transformation ability, so they affectionately call it, Big Corpse Brother, dot. Puff. Leon, who was drinking mineral water, immediately sprayed it out. Brother Corpse. You told me this is Brother Corpse. Leon widened his eyes and looked incredulously at the official news, as well as the various familiar scenes in the news. He suddenly realized a serious problem now. He has traveled. And I traveled to the apocalyptic world in the manga, Brother Corpse, that I had read before. So the so dot called zombies outside can be concluded to be the Corpse Brothers, but for Leon, these are not two big problems, at least he has not been attacked by those Corpse Brothers outside. But this water problem is very big. Looking at the official news and comparing it with the production date on the mineral water bottle, the time difference between the two is only two days. Li Ang's face turned green. This bottle of mineral water from Tama was produced two days ago. The owner of the water plant in H City has a very bad conscience. In order to save money, he did not filter the tap water at all. Instead, he transformed into a natural porter and sold the tap water as mineral water. In addition, the corpse brother virus came from the water plant in H City. And strictly speaking, the corpse brother virus is a mixture of the blood of the undead bird and the cold sea ice demon dragon, so it seems that it can't be easily filtered out, can it? It doesn't seem like it's time to discuss whether we can filter out the Shixiang virus. The problem is that the boss of the Blackheart water plant hasn't filtered it at all. In short, there is Xixiang virus in the tap water in H City, and drinking it will turn into Xixiang's kind. Liang Ang just took a small sip of bottled tap water. So. It's done. Help. Help. Ouch. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Suck, suck, suck your master. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Suck, suck, 
Suck Your Master. Brother Corpse is a domestic manga that Leon read during his college years. Although it has been a long time, he still remembers the general content. No, because this anime was too popular at the time. It tells the story of the coffin that was sealed on the right side of the corpse King Long, which was dug up by two tomb raiders and prepared to be sold to foreigners. However, during transportation, the coffin accidentally slipped from the carriage and fell into the water supply of H City. Because the corpse king inside the coffin could release viruses and cause infections in life, it led to the disaster in H City. The corpse brothers inside have tenacious vitality, and can still bounce around without their heads. Some even directly challenge the origin of species, and evolution can be achieved through mutual feeding, without limits. In the manga, there is a guy named Xiao Jin Gang who relied on his body to pick up the leaked corpse all the way and ate it directly to the divine level. This incident may be the first alien invasion in history, or it can be called a great progress in human civilization. We should face this disaster more objectively, rather than blindly killing, such as communicating with them appropriately. There is a bald expert talking on TV. There are already a group of corpses dancing outside and those monsters will gnaw on anyone they catch. It is estimated that this expert is not in H-City, otherwise it is impossible to sit in the studio and chat. Especially with the great progress of human civilization, if a corpse brother really wants to visit his house, he can be torn apart directly. With a table full of intestines and internal organs, ask him if he will die or not. Why do you advise people not to blindly kill and to communicate appropriately with monsters, such as pee, kneeling and licking? Honestly clean up and wait for the other party to take a sip. It's best for this type of expert to stay away, otherwise when lightning strikes him, it may cause harm to oneself. However, on the other hand, these unreliable experts are really confused. Because if we really need to calculate from the source, is the corpse brother virus spreading in H city from the undead bird and the cold sea ice demon dragon, especially from the undead bird, a cosmic hegemon? Isn't that just an alien visitor? In the manga, Brother Corpse, even the super powerhouses inside the gates of hell, such as Satan and the six winged holy lord, feel secretive about the so dot called undead birds and feel inferior. How could such a supreme existence communicate equally with humans? If they were to die, they wouldn't even have to eat their farts. But it has to be said that sometimes ignorance is really a kind of happiness, at least you don't have to think so tired. Ugh. In the hotel, Leung held on to the bed and vomited uncontrollably. There is the corpse brother virus in the tap water, and although he vomited it quite promptly, he is still unsure if he has drunk a small part. If he drinks it, as a passerby without golden fingers, he can only silently wait to mutate into corpse brother. Leave it alone for now, then vomit. Li Ang came up with a fierce move, using his fingers to forcefully gouge his throat and induce vomiting. Well, there you go. Ugh. Ugh. Puff. After vomiting for about ten minutes again, Li An felt like he had even vomited bile, and in the end, only dry vomiting remained. However, for safety reasons, he didn't stop until he could no longer vomit. Leon sat by the bed slowly calming himself down, then entered a state of harmony between heaven and humanity to quietly feel himself, in other words, to see if he was still a person. If he starts to mutate into a zombie, then he will have already started to go crazy, his mind will go crazy, and maybe he will bark incessantly like a rabies outbreak. At present, it seems okay, at least he can still think, and there is no such thing as babbling. Time passed by little by little, and Leon felt as if he had no other obvious fluctuations besides extreme mental concerns about his current situation. However, to be on the safe side, Leon gave himself another self-questioning and self-answering to determine whether he had lost his sanity and mutated into a corpse brother. Leon asked himself, can I still eat the sausages I just bought if they fall off the ground? Self-answer. If it doesn't fall for more than three seconds and there is no surveillance around, you can definitely pick it up and eat it. You can flaunt it in one bite without any problem, 
and even feed it into your good friend's mouth as quickly as possible. Liang asked again, if a wealthy woman gives generous rewards but demands fierce battles, and even suggests that the harder the fighting process, the better, how should she handle it calmly? Answer yourself again. Quickly find the nearest boxing gym, put on a boxing set, stand on the ring and beat the rich woman hard until she subdues the opponent. What? The rich woman has rough skin, thick flesh, and high tankiness. Then use some penetrating damage equipment, such as wearing a pair of pointed boxing sets, which will definitely make the opponent scream. Liang finally asked, what should a person do when they only have one last breath left? Finally, I replied to myself, jia jia jia, of course, I want to keep my innocence in the world. Before I completely die, I quickly took out my phone and deleted the records inside. If I don't delete them, can we keep them for the Chinese New Year? Believe it or not, we can all die again at the funeral. Ha! Huh, after three consecutive questions, Li Ang rubbed his face and concluded that he was a normal person. It's temporarily safe, Brother Chang'an, it's easy to say anything. Although in the manga, Brother Corpse, Little King Kong initially became a Brother Corpse and eventually became a god-level creature and even regained his sanity, it was a series of coincidences, especially when Little King Kong ate Dr. Mu, giving birth to a bit of rationality. Otherwise, Little King Kong would just be a brother corpse, without himself, living aimlessly for a lifetime, and it is uncertain that he would be eaten by other large brother corpse in the future. Leon doesn't have such luck in his heart. He's just an ordinary person. It's better to rely on his luck in the world of the corpse brother than to rely on it as just a dream. Even if he is squeezed dry by Wang Jia in reality, he has no regrets. But the problem is that this is a bloody reality. The current situation is still very difficult. This is the world of brother corpse, and outside is a terrifying army of corpses. How can he survive without a golden finger? Lying flat is impossible, and Leon has never been a person who gives up easily. He vaguely remembers in the manga that the corpse brother virus had not spread for long. There was a gene-enhancing drug called KW74 sold on a certain website. As long as he could obtain this drug in the future and greatly improve his own strength, Liang had some capital to survive in this chaotic world. As for what oral painless KW89 is, Leon dare not expect it, because even if he wants it, he will have to go further to the evacuation point. Nowadays, there are corpses outside, and even if Leon can leave this hotel, he may not be able to walk out on the street below. If you can make money nearby, purchase directly online. Sellers can deliver by helicopter and ship nearby, so purchasing KW74 is the quickest and most effective way to enhance their strength. Moreover, with Leon's mind, it shouldn't be a problem to get 70,000 yuan to buy medicine. In short, everything has not reached a dead end yet. Let's find a way to survive first. There is hope in life, otherwise if we die, we will only be eaten by the corpse brother, and maybe even become a strange pile of feces, provided that the corpse brother can also defecate. Feeling his groaning stomach, Leon began searching for food in the room, but after searching around, he couldn't find anything to eat, and he didn't dare to drink the only bottle of mineral water. Although he was starving now, strangely enough, Leon's whole body began to feel a little excited. Is it too tight? Leon shook his head and went to the window again. Through the half-open window, he observed the street downstairs. Although he could see a Laifu supermarket with its door open, there were about ten corpse brothers wandering there, wanting to enter the supermarket. It was almost like sending a buffet to the corpse brother. Leon even saw the one-eyed girl, who was also the headless corpse brother. On her broken neck, fleshy tentacles wriggled, and the big eyeballs at the front scanned back and forth, swaying and wriggling. The cracked sternum occasionally made a sound of sucking. Tsk tisk, it's a pity. I don't know if it's because I'm too hungry, but Leong looked at the other person and shook his head with some regret. Speaking of which, this female corpse brother is wearing a black lace three-point style, which is very cool and has a good figure. 
She has a front and back curve, and if you only look at her sexy back, 90% of gentlemen will be tempted. But if you see the other person's cracked chest like a monster's big mouth, with mucus dripping between bites, and the big eyeballs rotating on top of their head, it's not a heart attack, but a nightmare. However, Liang did not realize that he was not as panicked as he had seen the terrifying corpse brother before. At least, he dared to secretly scrutinize the female corpse brother while the other party did not attack him, and even showed regret towards him in his heart. However, at this moment, with a whoosh, the big eyeballs on the tentacles of the headless female corpse brother suddenly turned and looked directly at the position where Liang was located. The two of them looked at each other three times, and in just one moment, Liang was electrocuted and his buttocks suddenly clenched. This scene is like watching a horror movie when someone accidentally opens the door and sees a female ghost staring straight at her from behind. I saw the female corpse brother at the entrance of the supermarket making a series of sucking sounds from her cracked chest, as if she had discovered prey, appearing eager and excited. Then, she took big steps and rushed into the hotel where Leon was located. Damn it. Your grandfather. That guy probably didn't notice me, did he? I just glanced at him. Don't come and mess with me. Li Ang's whole body was trembling with fear, and his calves were almost cramping. He instinctively held his breath and sensed the movement outside the room. As time passed by, Leon's pressure also grew stronger. Blessed by Buddha, blessed by Sanqing, blessed by Bodhisattva, blessed by God, blessed by Ultraman, please, don't let that female benefactor rush forward. It's really unbearable. Li Ang's heart was filled with wild thoughts. This time, not only did he pick up the Buddha's feet, but he almost hugged all the great powers he could think of, and directly brought in a divine Buddha family bucket. He didn't even let Ultraman go. Regardless of whether he was spiritual or not, his main focus now was on psychological comfort. Not to mention, two minutes later, there was no strange noise coming from outside the door, not even from the hallway. Did you really come up? Leon suppressed his excitement. If the female corpse brother really discovered him, two minutes would be enough for the other party to come up and vent their anger against him three times. Now that there has been no movement in the entire corridor for such a long time, it's possible that we went to another floor or discovered other good things on the way. Leon couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. So close, almost. Bang! At this moment, a dull explosion came, and the door of Li Ang's hotel room was heavily knocked on, as if hit by a siege hammer, causing the entire room to vibrate. Immediately after, the air suddenly became quiet, and a strange sneer of sucking came from outside the door. Leon was startled with goosebumps all over his body, and his mentality exploded. Suck, suck, suck your master. You really came up. Head Tai wrote about Brother Sui being a fan, how can we say this is also the youth of Jiu Tong? If you think this book is still good, I hope you can continue reading it. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Old Man in the Mountain Village Eat My TV You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Old Man in the Mountain Village Eat My TV Leon was very excited, the kind that cracked open. He was already very careful, so he exposed a crack in the window to observe the outside world, but was still discovered by the female corpse brother. The problem is, how can you even aim so accurately with one eye? Dong 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 dong, at this moment, the door of the hotel room was knocked hard, like a series of impacts from a siege hammer. Leon originally intended to push the bed in the room behind the door, but all his sucking energy came out, only to find that this thing couldn't be pushed at all. At first, he thought this hotel was really sincere, and the quality of every bed was so good. Looking down, he saw that the four legs of the bed were tightly embedded in cement. This is clearly because the hotel is afraid that someone will steal the bed together. The person in charge of this hotel is also bizarre and outrageous. Don't you think there is really a thief who is foolish enough to want to steal a hotel bed? 
Even if it's an emergency in the martial arts world, you can't carry the bed and leave. This is a question that doesn't even need to be considered. Well, why does the hotel still do such a good job in this area of security work? Leon couldn't distinguish who was the idiot for a while. Roast goes back to roast. Now there is a knock on the door. It's not right. Now the knock on the door is like a death bell. Leon didn't dare to ignore it. He had to hurry to the back of the door, use his body to resist the bouncing door, and stretch out his feet to force against the wall on one side. Dong 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 dong, the impact behind him became more and more intense, and Leong followed suit while jumping. However, he did not feel passionate. Instead, his back and shoulders were shaken and he felt pain, almost falling apart. However, Leong didn't dare to relax a bit. This was the last barrier, and once it was breached, he could only fight head dot on with this one-eyed female corpse brother. If the other party doesn't mutate, Leon doesn't mind fighting against this sexy girl who has never met before, dressed in a three-point black lace style, for three hundred rounds. Even if she finally walks out against the wall, she doesn't care. However, facing a female corpse brother, it is obvious that Leon is not ready for this aspect, and his body and mind cannot even be as hard as iron. Just like this, Leong firmly pressed against the door, gritted his teeth, exerted all his strength, and begged repeatedly in his heart, please, the one-eyed female hero outside the door, elbow yourself and go elsewhere to cause trouble. Although I have some body shape, I really can't withstand this kind of devastation. At this moment, Leon's mind was filled with thoughts of his female corpse brother forcefully cracking his head, or being suffocated by the other person's chest and mouth. Anyway, the scene was so tragic that he realized that in the end, Leon's potential was also stimulated, and he bravely shouldered the waves of impact behind him. And I don't know if I heard Leon's inner voice, but after a moment, there was really no movement outside. Are you leaving? Leon was completely exhausted, his lips turned white, but his face couldn't help but be pleasantly surprised. Almost burst into tears of joy on the spot. But in the next second, Leon felt a chill in his pants crotch. He instinctively pushed his toes to the ground, causing himself to lift an inch higher. With a click, a ferocious claw instantly broke open the door and penetrated through his body, which was clearly the position of Li Angang's crotch. I'm Nima. Are you playing so hard? Leon trembled all over, his face turned pale with fear. If it weren't for his timely response just now, he would probably have died of a family feud. Hmyes. Leon was still in shock and looked down. There was an eye on the palm of the claw that came through the door, and now it was teasing him with a playful wink. The excited sound of the female corpse brother, sucking, came from outside the door, followed by the sharp claw lifting up and the air exploding, launching a second attack on Liang's crotch. Good guy, the sound boom has come out. If it's squeezed now, it will definitely explode on the spot. Leong was shocked and angry. He knew that the female corpse brother had not left, but had been waiting outside the door looking for opportunities, so he didn't hide it and directly broke through the defense and cursed, your grandfather, a female corpse brother doesn't learn anything, just learn from the villagers. You really deserve it. This blow came with a fierce force, clearly aimed at causing Li Ang's eggs to shatter and people to die. In order to have a better sex life in the future, at the critical moment, Li Ang was also stimulated to unleash his potential. On the spot, his calves were out of bounds, and his knees were fiercely impacted inward, directly gripping the ghostly hand he had pulled out. It's not as accurate as when I pick it up. Damn it, break it for me. Leon let out a fierce roar, and then his knees suddenly exerted force. With a hissing sound, the eyeballs in the palm of the sharp claw were brutally pinched by the knees, exploding on the spot, like squeezed grapes, and sticky red and white blood sprayed all over Liang's face. Roar and suck. Outside the door, the female corpse brother screamed in pain and went berserk on the spot. She began to frantically hit the door, and in an instant, a huge force struck. Leon could no longer hold on, 
and the door was fiercely smashed open. Leon was also pushed out of breath, and his body was uncontrollably pushed out. However, he was quick-witted and was about to collide with the wall. He quickly turned to his side and blocked it with his shoulders, avoiding direct contact between his face and the wall. But with this impact, Leon's left shoulder was almost broken and quickly swollen. When the excruciating pain hit, Leon became very clear-headed and a surge of anger surged in his heart. At this moment, the TV screen is still playing pictures about the corpse brother, and there are even self-rescue and escape strategies on how to attack the corpse brother and survive from it. One of them mentions Mang and it's done because the corpse brother in the early stage did not have much ability, at most, he was stronger than humans in terms of physical strength. Although you can jump even if you lose your head, you will also be injured. There is also a friendly tip in the guide. If one knife can't solve brother sure, then two, three, four. Dao Xiao noodles, understand, until you cut it clean, you will be finished. Liang wiped the blood off his face fiercely and forcefully pulled off the LCD TV on the wall. Kaka Kaka. The entire door was fiercely smashed into pieces, and the female corpse brother slowly crawled in through the crack in the door. The cracked sternum made a chewing sound, and the scene of bending down and crawling in was very similar to Sadako crawling out of the TV, but the visual impact was definitely more explosive than Sadako's. After all, Sadako is at least a humanoid figure, but this female corpse brother doesn't even have a head, just a fleshy tentacle, with a large eyeball that can rotate at the top, and the body below the neck is directly cracked, with rows of teeth inside. Ordinary people who see this scene may have been scared to pee long ago. Even if they don't pee, their whole body will become limp like noodles. The female corpse brother crawled in halfway, and his big eyes began to scan eagerly, trying to identify the position of Liang, only to find that he was standing not far away from him. Suck, suck it off. The female corpse brother became excited, and his fleshy tentacles couldn't help but become stiff. But she didn't notice the LCD TV in Leon's hand at all. Faced with the grim smile of the female corpse brother, Leon also grinned viciously and directly swung the LCD TV round, using it as a weapon, fiercely hitting the half of the body where the female corpse brother crawled in. While patting and cursing loudly, Suck, suck, I made you suck. Go to hell with me. At this moment, the female corpse brother happened to get stuck in the crack of the door, so Leon seized this opportunity and hit the other party hard. Suck, suck. The female corpse brother roared angrily. Bang 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 Leon ignored it and started filming. Suck up. Bang 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 aspiration pain. Does it hurt? That's right. Li Ang roared fiercely. I've always said, don't mess with me, don't mess with me. Why are you so disobedient and insist on coming up? You're really naughty. Let you be naughty. Let you be naughty. Li Ang became enthusiastic and swung his LCD TV at the one-eyed female corpse brother, making another fierce shot. The LCD TV was cracked open, but it couldn't stop at all. The female corpse brother screamed in agony throughout the entire journey, unable to stop. However, the screams of the female corpse brother made Liang become excited and hot all over. Now looking at the one-eyed female corpse brother with her hands covering her tentacles and head, her body concave into a sexy S dot shape, Leon licked her lips and suddenly had a bold idea. But soon he restrained this idea in time. After realizing it, even Leon himself felt like he was a hidden pervert, or was he stimulated by drinking some corpse brother virus water before? Looking back now, it seems that his mental consciousness became somewhat abnormal after drinking mineral water. For example, he would sigh at the mutation of the sexy female corpse brother, and even when he squeezed the other person's eyes with his knees, 
he did not feel nauseous or nauseous. Even before drinking mineral water, he saw the fat man downstairs being eaten by the corpse brother, and he had physiological nausea and vomited all over the bed. Anyway, the primary task now is to survive, rather than thinking about those strange things. And the next second, Leon will be forced to turn on. I didn't swing the LCD TV in my hand. I saw the LCD TV being bitten by the cracked chest of the female corpse brother. To be precise, it was eaten by the other party, and I could only hear a crisp sound. The LCD TV was eaten by the other party like a biscuit. Hold on. You're really not picky about food. Li Ang's whole body trembled with excitement. Even the female corpse brother could chew on the TV. If it were him, the outcome would be absolutely tragic. Fight, fight again. The female corpse brother slowly stood up, with his cracked chest stretching to both sides. Leong looked at the other person's pair of proud pomelos, and could even imagine that when he was sucking, the female corpse brother's chest cracked open like a big mouth, first eating his own head, then his upper body, and finally leaving only two legs bouncing outside until finally, sucking it's like sucking noodles, others just don't have it. Thinking of that scene, Li Ong became even more excited, trembling all over. Without even thinking, he turned his head and ran away. Because the door to the escape room was blocked by the one-eyed female corpse brother's body, he could only escape to the bathroom first. Seeing the half-open window, Leon immediately wanted to jump out of the window and escape. Just as one foot stepped on it, several mutated corpse brothers happened to be gnawing on the corpse downstairs. Perhaps sensing a strange noise from upstairs, they all raised their heads and looked at Leon, who had half of his body protruding with a gloomy gaze. Leon gulped down his saliva and even saw the centipede corpse brother downstairs, with rows of faces under his abdomen looking at him. Excuse me. Brother, please use it slowly. Li Eng's scalp was tingling, so he quickly crawled back to the bathroom. When he heard the cold laughter coming from behind again, he rubbed his face hard. Anyway, he was risking his life both horizontally and vertically. He couldn't survive without being crazy, so he had to fight against this female corpse brother. Damn it, it's tough, come on. Who's bothering their grandson? Li Ang gritted his teeth and thought. If he could see his face clearly at this moment, he would find not only ferocity on it, but also an indescribable abnormal grin. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Let's shake together, shake, hey. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Let's shake together, shake, hey with a piercing sound, Leon pulled off the white shower curtain in the bathroom and quickly wrapped it in circles around his fist. Then he smashed the mirror on the bathroom wall with a punch, picked up the sharpest and largest lens, like a blade, and reflected Leon's fierce face in the lens. For a fugitive who has already reached the end of his life, facing the critical moment of life and death, he is either scared to death or makes a fierce blow. Obviously, Leon, who has always been unwilling to accept defeat in life, belongs to the latter. And at this moment, Leon's overall state is not right. It is reasonable for a person who refuses to give up to defeat to have this kind of outburst when facing a desperate situation, but the problem is, what is Leon's abnormal expression with a silent and vicious smile at this moment? With this face drenched in blood, it is estimated that even a real killer, pervert, and maniac in reality would remain silent. Suck, I know, you're inside. Yo, I'm here. I'm going to suck it up, suck it up. The female corpse brother stood outside the bathroom door and sneered. The semi-transparent frosted glass reflects the ferocious figure of the other person, and the cracked sternum has opened to its maximum, like a stretched petal that can completely swallow a person. However, the female corpse brother was not in a hurry, but prepared to eat Leon bit by bit. She poked the tentacles on her head through the crack in the bathroom door, and her big eyes twirled softly, as if playing a game of hide and seek. Beauty, are you looking for me? Cold laughter rang out. The female corpse brother instinctively looked up, 
and the one-eyed pupils reflected Li Ang's ultimate blow. Go to hell. Li Ang's expression was cold and stern. He clenched his sharp lenses and slashed fiercely, hissing loudly. With this chopping sound, the fleshy tentacles on the neck of the female corpse brother were directly cut off, jumping like catfish on the shore. I don't know if it's due to mutation or if this fleshy tentacle is the other person's artery. The blood sprayed from the neck of the female corpse brother was like a spray gun, causing the entire bathroom to be drenched in blood. Roar, you, die. Losing her only big eyeball, the female corpse brother suddenly lost his judgment. She screamed in pain while swinging her hands around, and began to run around aimlessly in the narrow bathroom. If you want to leave me, please be honest and tell me not to sneak away. The girl across from me is looking over, looking over, looking over. The performance here is very exciting, please don't pretend to ignore it. Sister, you are sitting at the bow of the boat, while brother is walking on the shore. Grace, love, and fine ropes sway leisurely. A group of zombie brothers downstairs were originally studying the promotional speakers for supermarket discounts. From time to time, singing could be heard from the speakers. In their limited intelligence, they thought the speakers were something strange, so they leaned in. Until a corpse accidentally clicked a certain switch, passionate music burst out on the spot. Listening carefully, it is undoubtedly the rock music, let's shake together. At this moment, the sound of the song resounds through the speaker throughout the street, as well as in the small bathroom. Give me your hands and your waist, let me melt in this rhythm. Don't worry about yesterday's sad moments. Don't pay attention to those unfulfilled promises. Accompanied by music, the female corpse brother roars and rushes into dancing in the narrow bathroom. Li Ang's expression was cold and stern, without any panic. Whenever he saw the female corpse brother rushing towards him, he would quickly dodge to the side, and even use his sharp lenses to cut his back. Suck, suck, damn it. Unable to attack the prey for a long time, the female corpse brother became more and more agitated, and the impact became more and more violent. The tiles on the bathroom walls were cracked by the impact, and the plastic snap panels on the ceiling began to fall. But Li Ang seemed to have unlocked another attribute, a perverted attribute. Not only did he not panic under the crazy attack of the female corpse brother, but he changed from passive to active and began to look for timely opportunities to attack the opponent. Many narrow wounds on the female corpse brother's back were cut out, and blood dripped on the lenses. The entire bathroom floor became slippery and slippery. Leon knelt down and dodged, avoiding the messy female corpse brother's messy thrusts. He also saw a hair dryer through the cabinet door under the half-open sink. Li Ang's eyes suddenly lit up. He suddenly thought of the opening scene in the corpse brother manga. The protagonist by Xiaofei completely killed a corpse brother with a hair dryer. Of course, it was not that the other party used the hair dryer as a high-dot-energy firing gun or other thermal weapon, but rather used the high-voltage current connected to the hair dryer circuit to electrify the female corpse brother in one fell swoop. Brother sure is hard to kill. He can jump when his head is cut off. Unless he is cut into Daoshao noodles or shredded potatoes, he can also burn them or cook them by electricity, which is a good way to do it once and for all. In addition, high dot end food often needs cough, which is off topic again. And this thing is still a mutated corpse brother. If it's really spicy and delicious, hey, it's not impossible. Damn it, I got into the show. Leon quickly threw away the strange thoughts in his mind, took out the hair dryer directly, and then held it tightly in his hand, like a warrior holding a sword. His expression was solemn as he looked at the distance between the female corpse brother and himself, and his brain began to quickly calculate. Liang, who had calmed down, clenched his hair dryer tightly and his face was full of murderous intent, like the young man holding a steel fork in the dark who was about to anger him. After another thrilling attack from the female corpse brother, the latter fiercely collided with the wall. Moreover, due to excessive force, the female corpse brother's upper body was embedded in the collapsed wall, 
and his lower body was crazily gurgling, but he didn't break free from it in the first time. Good opportunity. It's now. Leong let out a deep cry, seized this one stud in dot a dot lifetime opportunity, and forcefully inserted his hair dryer into the cracked sternum of the female corpse brother. Although facing backwards, because the female corpse brother's upper body is cracked, his chest is not divided back and forth. With a muffled sound, the hair dryer went straight in. But Leon's cold and stern face suddenly became shocked because he found that the hair dryer had been misplaced by him. This cave is not that cave. Even if Leon was fierce, he never thought of launching an attack from there. But the sudden scene directly excited him. But it seems that the effect is the same. There were also rows of fine fangs there, and now when the hair dryer forcefully entered, it was immediately stimulated. The fangs on top reflexively bit off the wiring head of the hair dryer, revealing the wires inside. Immediately after, Leon plugged in the other end of the plug and the power supply, and the entire distance was calculated by him in advance, which could fully power up the female corpse brother. In the situation where the entire wire was highly leaking electricity, the female corpse brother stood in place and twitched under the stimulation of the current, like a wild deer jumping on the grave. At this moment, the music also reached its climax. Let's sway together, sway, eh, zzzz. -z -z -z. The electric current was fierce and intense, and the female corpse brother's body even flickered with fine white small arcs, looking like a special effect. The lighting in the entire bathroom also became flickering due to the high voltage disorder. Coupled with the explosive music and the perfect combination of dynamic lighting atmosphere, the small bathroom suddenly turned into a disco. A hot and curvaceous girl in the disco danced to the music, full of dynamism, without stopping at all. Liang Chiang suppressed the urge to sway with him, and after a successful hit, he jumped up immediately, propping his feet on the triangular area above the bathroom, just in time to avoid the crazy pounce of the female corpse brother below him. Otherwise, if the electrified female corpse brother were to pounce on him, Leong would have to sway along. Moreover, the bathroom was drenched with blood and water, and no one knew if there might be an electric leakage. Therefore, to be on the safe side, Leon was like an octopus, supporting the wall with his hands and feet, temporarily fixing his body above the bathroom to protect himself. Now that everything is settled, Leon stands at a high place, silently enjoying the dance of the female corpse brother alone. It's not too exciting, although this position is much more laborious than squatting on the toilet. About five or six minutes later, the female corpse brother, who had been electrocuted to maturity, collapsed straight down. During this period, the female corpse brother's dance moves also kept changing, from passionate wild to dynamic tango, and then to soft and elegant ballet. Leon couldn't help but feel that the other party's vitality was truly strong. If he really gets into a fight with this thing in the bathroom, he will definitely end up feeling physically exhausted first, but fortunately, there is no way out, and he gave Leon a hair dryer as a divine tool, which directly electrocuted the female corpse brother once and for all. Now, Li Ang's hands and feet have become soft from being pressed against the wall for a long time. When he saw the female corpse brother fall to the ground, he could no longer hold on and slid down from the corner of the wall. However, he did not immediately relax. Instead, he quickly got up again and poked the electrocuted female corpse brother with a toilet plug. After repeatedly confirming that he was burping his butt, Leong dared to collapse to the ground and gasp for breath. Just now, with a burst, it was already his limit, even more tiring than running two marathons in one breath. Now, with the end of the female corpse brother, Leong, who was physically and mentally exhausted, could no longer hold back. But the fact has proven that human potential is like water in a sponge. Even with a squeeze, there is still room for it. The next second, Leon was stimulated and jumped up in place. Even the high jump masters were not as strong as him, and while jumping, he crazily shook his crotch. Those who didn't know thought he was looking for his big brother. With a click, a fleshy tentacle was shaken off, and the large eyeball at the front of the tentacle was still blinking 
which was the part that had been cut off from the neck of the female corpse brother earlier. However, since it was cut off, this thing has lost its attacking power. At first, Leon, who was unsure, was startled. Now that he saw the body, he felt a chill and jumped up to stomp on it. Pushy Pushy End of this chapter 5. Chapter 5 Thanks for the big rocket sent by two old irons downstairs. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Thanks for the big rocket sent by two old irons downstairs breathing, snoring. Ho 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 ho. Intense gasps and whistles alternate as they come from the bathroom, creating a symphony of twists and turns that follow the rhythm of walking. Leon lay panting in the bathroom in a large zigzag shape, his tongue sticking out. In the end, he gasped and almost fell asleep. After a life and death struggle with the one eyed female corpse brother, he was so exhausted that he couldn't even move a finger now. The one eyed female corpse brother who had been electrocuted was right next to his face, with a burning odor surging in. If it were Leong from the past, he would have already inserted his head into the toilet and vomited wildly. I believe this is also a physiological reaction that normal people should have. The abnormal thing about Leon is that he doesn't want to vomit, and when facing his electrocuted body, he even has an extremely bold and transcendent idea. But soon this idea was suppressed by Leon. After all, no matter how hungry you are, you can't really talk, and you don't have barbecue seasonings like cumin chili noodles around you. Maybe even if it's burnt, there will still be the corpse brother virus on this thing. Leong is a person who is good at summarizing. Whether in life or work, during the battle with the one-eyed corpse brother, Leong found that his excitement far outweighed his fear. As for why Leong is excited when facing a female corpse brother who doesn't even have a head, he can't provide a reasonable explanation. Firstly, he can conclude that he is not really a pervert. During his time in school, Leong was always a good student and a model of civilization in his class. After graduation, he also had good social connections in the company. He is a person who cannot associate with perverts. In general, Leon is just an ordinary person. When an ordinary person suddenly faces this apocalyptic environment, they will naturally panic, despair, and even collapse, but they should not be excited to the point of excitement. At first, Leon thought that this might be due to a sudden encounter with a hellish scene, and their own mental state was strongly stimulated, leading to neurological disorders. But it wasn't until Leon exploded and killed the female corpse brother that he was very certain that his mind was in a state of excitement, and even had a desire to vent his violent pleasure. Leon thought he was only trying so hard to live, but later on, something became even more wrong. Because my fear slowly dissipated and was replaced by excitement. To sum up, Leon is feeling very upset right now. What is the first thing to do when killing is not illegal? Of course, it's the first time to hide. Leon repeatedly asked himself a few common sense questions, and his answer was also within a reasonable range, so at least for now, he is still normal. Perhaps it is really the result of neurological hyperactivity disorder, rather than mutation. Leon lay on the ground, resting his calves on the toilet. This is a report he has read that this method can quickly restore his strength. Due to his previous vomiting and the intense battle with the female corpse brother, Li Ang is now very weak. If another corpse brother appears at this time, he can only watch helplessly as he is eaten. Even if we're not the protagonist, our luck shouldn't be so bad. Right. Leong muttered to himself in his heart. But in the next second, I was completely stunned. He raised the lens in his hand, intending to see his current state, but inadvertently flipped it over, revealing a huge centipede corpse brother crawling in from outside along the semi-open bathroom window. The other party's body was very large, seven or eight meters long, but when they crawled in along the outer wall, they were silent, with a hunting posture, and their whole body was about to peek out the window. I Nima, this creepy old six. Leong was so scared that he even held his breath. What a thrill. Even if you go to a haunted house, you don't have to bring such a scary one. One second ago, 
Leon thought his luck wouldn't be too bad, but the next second, he's going to arrange such a fierce corpse brother for him. This is definitely going to ruin his rhythm. Pop 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 pop. The blood on the body of the centipede corpse brother was dripping profusely on Liang's face, and he was completely scared and numb, with a heart full of sorrow. If his life were really a time travel novel, he would start off with such a cruel attitude towards the protagonist. He deserves to be the author of this dog who fights the streets. Do you really understand where the excitement lies? Can you arrange the system and various golden fingers for him? It's better to do the kind of ruthless work that can directly tear apart the corpse brother. This is enough, and readers are also satisfied with it. It's so satisfying, not to mention subscribing, maybe you can just give a reward of one yuan. But now that Liang has traveled across the country, he hasn't eaten anything and hasn't even taken a sip of water, yet he almost burps twice in place. Who can withstand it? And even if the dog author doesn't give us the system, there are various gene-enhancing drugs in the world of the corpse brother. In the early stage, we will airdrop dozens of boxes for him, preferably the painless oral KW89 strengthening drug, which tastes like sugar water, with one bottle in the morning, one bottle in the middle, and one bottle in the evening. What? You said your body can't hold on, so you can sell it. It's definitely dozens of times better than the KW74 that is injected directly into the heart, and Leon doesn't sell it too expensive. A bottle of KW89 sells for 20.30 yuan. Later on, let Liang awaken his killing power. It would be best if an old abbot who is about to pass away could give him a 180-year-old skill for free, and then Liang could go out and kill him with a bang, while also earning the reputation of saving all beings, which can be considered immeasurable merit. Liang is now exhausted and paralyzed, even if his form is still at its peak, he is definitely not a match for this centipede corpse brother. Now most of the monster's body has already penetrated, and the faces under its belly are close to Leon. With just a bow of its head, everyone can be honest with each other. Leon was tense all over, holding the lens in his hand, which was his only weapon at the moment. Once these faces below the centipede corpse brother were discovered, he could only fight to the death. Throughout the process, Leon was too atmospheric to breathe, his blood pressure skyrocketed, and he felt that plasma could tear open the Tianling cap and spray out at any time. He kept thinking wildly in his heart, Sanqing bless, God bless, Ultraman bless, readers bless, let this centipede monster not see me, not see me, not see me. With a loud bang, a strange noise suddenly sounded, and Liang was almost startled. It turned out that the window of the hotel room downstairs was forcefully pushed open from inside. Soon, a man in a suit, who was still alive, was pulled out by a thick and hairy hand, and mercilessly pushed down. The body of the man in the suit fell downstairs with a thud, like an exploding watermelon. The strange noise and bloody smell quickly attracted a group of corpses fighting below, and the scene was extremely bloody. At the same time, a woman's nervous reminder came from the room downstairs. Brother Long, be careful not to startle the group of corpses below. I'm so scared. The corpses of this product are enough for brother corpse to eat for a while. Chinzi, the KW74 strengthening medicine that I purchased online, Brother Long, is about to be airdropped. Follow me to the rooftop of the hotel to pick it up. After I take it, I want you to see with your own eyes how Brother Long, who has strengthened it, pinches and explodes these brother corpses' eggs, and let you taste Brother Long's brand new taste. On the third floor hotel, a bald man with a dragon tattoo all over his body stepped on the window and said with a domineering expression. But he completely didn't notice the centipede corpse brother above his head. When the man forcefully pushed open the window, he even caught the tip of the centipede corpse brother's tail. And the centipede corpse brother, who originally wanted to rush into Leon's bathroom, immediately twisted his body out after being hit. Even Leon in the bathroom was dumbfounded. He thought to himself, Brother Long, you're amazing. If you know how to speak, just say more. It's best to completely lure this centipede corpse brother down. 
Oh no, it's best to feed this centipede corpse brother and let him taste your brand new flavor. Beside the bald man, a woman wearing a white shirt and a hip-wrapped skirt, with black silk on her legs, leaned against the man's arms and smiled coquettishly. Damn it, Brother Long, that strengthening medicine called KW74 has been bought online by many people. Be careful not to be compared to others, she said the bald man sneered and said, Don't worry, I have a brother in charge of this area who gave me a high-dot-dose version of KW74 booster drug. Currently, there are about 70,000 yuan per serving on the market, and my portion is worth 300,000 yuan. Damn it, all the money that I have stolen has been squeezed out. This time, I will do whatever I say. I want to rise up and become the king of this city. The bald man had a fierce expression. Shortly after his release from prison, H City lost control due to a corpse poison infection. Ordinary people were already scared out of their wits by this kind of turmoil, but for this ruthless man, the bald man was an opportunity to rise up. It was obvious that the other party wanted to seize this opportunity hard, so they bought a high-dot-dose version of the strengthening medicine at all costs, in order to evolve more fiercely than others and conquer this city with violence. Then I am Wang's woman, Long Gu, hello man. The woman smiled wildly, and the bald man became angry again. Man is not man, you'll know right away. The bald man grinned and hugged the woman, ready to engage in a fierce battle. Brother Long, you're hurting someone. The woman symbolically resists twice, but there is a feeling of wanting to refuse and still welcoming. If it weren't for this apocalypse, as the boss's secretary, she wouldn't have been interested in rough guys like bald men. However, it must be admitted that with the advent of the apocalypse, such men would be more charming, because no matter what situation, strength is capital. Yesterday, her so dot called boss was still flirting with her, saying he wanted to protect her, but it wasn't until the fleeing bald man kicked open the door and the boss tried to be tough, but he was stabbed to death by the bald man. Then, in front of the still breathing boss, the bald man forcibly arranged for her. Of course, the secretary woman also symbolically resisted twice and quickly became embroiled in a fierce battle. As for the male boss in the suit, he he, he was just thrown outside to attract the corpse brother. Next, when the helicopter drops the enhanced medicine, it will be when the bald man truly rises, and naturally the other party will also become her reliance. Before the two of them could finish their work, the woman under her suddenly screamed and looked behind the bald man. Call me Mao, I haven't started yet. The bald man cursed. Brother Long, behind, behind. Back there. Hey, little sample, you're quite good at playing. I mean behind you, there are corpses. The secretary girl pointed behind the man with a frightened expression, indicating that she had seen a ghost. The bald man's face changed greatly, and he understood on the spot that it must have been the corpse brother who touched it. His heart went wild, and he suddenly pulled out a dagger inserted on the head cabinet, about to turn back and stab it. In a chaotic world, one cannot survive without being ruthless. Of course, the bald man knew what to do, but just as he drew his sword and turned around to attack the corpse brother behind him, the next second he was scared to death. Are you sure it's brother corpse? And not some prehistoric python? At the moment when the bald man was stunned, the centipede corpse brother raised his head high, like a python pouncing on its prey. Roar. Chingzi, my head has been bitten, please help me. Brother Long, don't pull me, go die now. Damn it, you. Ah. Ah, ah, don't blame me, go to hell. Immediately after was the fierce and excited roar of the centipede corpse brother, as well as the screams of male and female choirs. Good man, thank you for the big rockets sent by the two Lao Tai downstairs. In the bathroom, listening to the noise coming from downstairs, Leong covered his mouth with his hand and was almost moved to tears. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Pushi 10. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Pushi times 10 Taking advantage of the chaos downstairs, 
Leong quickly got up and dragged the electrocuted female corpse in the bathroom, finally pushing it down the window. With a loud bang, the female corpse brother fell down, and the strange noise attracted a group of corpse brothers downstairs to gather and feast. Leong crouched down and stole a glance. In order to prevent other corpse brothers from touching his room with their breath, he locked the window and even wrapped the handle tightly with curtains. After finishing all of this, Leon did not return to bed to rest because the hotel door had already been shattered by the previous one-eyed female corpse brother, and there would be a corpse brother coming in at any time. This bathroom was relatively independent and could provide him with a little shelter. As for the centipede corpse brother, I believe he will temporarily forget about his behavior after finishing his meal in the downstairs room. I hope Long Gook can do it to the end and stay strong in the centipede corpse brother's mouth for a while. Even if the centipede corpse brother turns back, Leon will be prepared to evacuate here as soon as possible. Boom boom. Not long after, the sound of crawling came from downstairs, as if a roller was pushing sideways. Through the window gap, Leon saw the centipede corpse brother holding a bald man with a dragon tattoo all over his mouth. The man was still alive and let out a fierce scream. The centipede corpse brother only waited for a full meal and did not return to Leon's bathroom again. Watching the other party's massive body crawl towards the distance along the hotel's exterior wall, Leon reluctantly breathed a sigh of relief and saved his life, but it was only temporary. The current situation is still very severe, as he is already starving and thirsty. He must not delay any longer. Otherwise when his stamina is completely exhausted, Leon will eventually die here. While he still has stamina, it's better to give it a try. Not long ago, Leon heard it clearly. The bald man said that the high-dot-dose booster drug KW-74 he had purchased would soon be dropped by a helicopter onto the rooftop of the hotel. Since the other party no longer needed it, there was no way to waste it, so it became Leon's only opportunity. Although there are corpses everywhere outside, and the corridor leading to the hotel rooftop is also full of crisis, they can be eaten by them at any time. But if they don't fight hard and wait for Leon, it will definitely be the end of death. Leon already knew that this was the world of Corpse Brother. The outbreak of the Corpse Brother virus was rapid, and in just a few days, the city of H where it was located was paralyzed, leaving no time for the people above. Even if an evacuation point was arranged, it would still be very dangerous, especially when going to the evacuation point, there is a high possibility of encountering the Corpse King Dragon right. As the initiator of this zombie brother virus, Long Yu has recovered from his slumber. Although he has not fully recovered his strength, small lying vegetables like Li Ang are easily crushed by others, and it is not necessary for Long Yu to take action. Only one or two zombie brothers are enough to make Leong despair, not to mention the large army of zombies around him. The future situation can be described as extremely severe. Even if he can survive and leave this hotel, it may not be possible for Leon to survive and leave H City. Therefore, Leon plans to give it a chance completely. What he calls a stroke is not a brainless rush, but a planned and purposeful recklessness. Once he can obtain the high-dot-dose KW-74 booster drug and complete the injection, as long as Leon withstands the most difficult stage of drug baptism, he will instantly gain far more strength than ordinary people. In the future, as long as there is no trouble, it will be enough for him to survive for a period of time. And based on this, perhaps Leon can plan for greater opportunities in the future. For example, in Dr. Mu's research base at Sunshine Elementary School, there is a divine gene injection drug inside. Once the injection is completed, one can fully obtain physical reinforcement and various powerful superpowers. Even one can go to the Longquan Sword Pavilion in H City to obtain the giant pagoda. Although Leon does not have internal power, this divine weapon can still be used to trade with others. In short, there are many opportunities in the future, provided that one can ensure survival. Bite your teeth and do whatever you say. Leon has always been a person who is good at seizing opportunities, and he also does not give up easily. Now that he is forced to a dead end, 
he can only rely on himself. Thirty years in the East and thirty years in the West, do not deceive young people into poverty. Leon walked out of the bathroom, gripping the sharp lens in his hand, and quietly came to the door not far away to listen. After listening for three minutes, the entire hotel appeared quiet, and there was no abnormal noise in the hallway. But Li An did not blindly go out to prevent any coercion from Lao Lu. He first poked out his glasses and observed, only to see that the corridor was pitch black, as if the entire hotel had lost power, and only the emergency light emitted a dim green light in the distance. It's like a game of cat and mouse. Li An murmured in his heart. I completely didn't notice that under the high level of tension, the solemn expression on my face slowly spiraled out of control, as if I was sneering. Another minute passed, and it was confirmed that there was no danger. Leon quietly crawled out from the crack in the door, walked up the stairs along the wall, and then walked towards the hotel rooftop. Now he is on the fourth floor, which has only six floors, so as long as he is fast enough, there is still a chance to reach the rooftop smoothly. However, when Leon arrived at the fifth floor, his whole body tightened on the spot. He thought he had met his corpse brother, and saw a sexy woman squatting at the corner of the staircase wall, dressed in a white shirt, black buttock skirt, and black stockings, resembling an assistant secretary. Every time he passed a floor, Leon would use his lens to explore in advance at the corner, but because the hallway here was too dark, he couldn't detect him for a while. Good Gejai, please help me. When the woman saw Leon appear, she was immediately excited and limped over. She was the secretary woman who used to be next to Brother Long downstairs. After Brother Centipede took Brother Long away, she did not attack her again, but instead allowed him to escape. But the secretary didn't dare to stay in the hotel room anymore, so she decided to go to the rooftop of the hotel to see if she could get the sodot called High Dose KW74 that Longa had booked. However, because she was too nervous, she stepped on it and broke her ankle when going upstairs. But it was precisely because of a broken ankle that saved her life, because the secretary girl soon heard the sound of the roller crawling ahead, and even Long Ge's ferocious call, shouting, Chingzi, help me, help me. The secretary tightly covered her mouth, unsure whether Long Gu had mutated into a corpse brother or was still alive. Regardless of the type of secretary woman, she dared not step forward. Even if she heard the sound go far away, she dared not rush forward temporarily. In addition, her wrist fracture was so painful that she couldn't bear it and couldn't walk for a while. Until Leon walked up, the secretary girl felt like she had encountered a savior. In such a doomsday, money may not be effective, but her beautiful figure was still very tempting. Now, the secretary girl deliberately suppressed her voice, appearing very delicate and pitiful. For those with weak wills, their bones may be weak. Now, she actively threw herself into arms and even a gentleman might be ready to take action. However, Leon took a step back, distanced himself from it, frowned, and said, I'm sorry, Mississippi. You found the wrong person. We're not familiar, and I'm also struggling to protect myself. Li Ang's tone was very cold, and he almost wrote the four words, don't get close to me, on his forehead. He is not a holy mother. In such a post-apocalyptic environment, people have ulterior motives. Perhaps your side is soft-hearted, and the other party will stab you when they turn around. At this time, keeping a distance from strangers is the right way. Geijai, you have a ruthless heart. The secretary woman was about to cry, and even pulled down her shirt, revealing a large area of fair skin, which I still pity. Without the reliance of Brother Long, the secretary woman can only rely on herself, but the only thing she can handle is her beautiful figure. Am I ruthless? Leon squinted his eyes and spoke in a low voice, Sister, forgive me for being blunt, I won't stab you with a single blow. I'm already very kind. You can stab me, but you can't use a knife. The secretary woman's body shrank and she couldn't help feeling scared, but she didn't give up because giving up at this time meant it would be difficult for her to keep going. Geijai, as long as you can save me, 
I am willing to exchange something with you. Leon glanced at the big grapefruit in front of the other person and said, Sister, I'm very hungry now and I can't even lift my pants, let alone have sexual interest in you. Unless you can squeeze out some grapefruit water. The woman was momentarily stunned and quickly awkwardly reacted, I'm referring to other things, such as the KW74 booster drug mentioned online, and it's a high dot dose version. As long as you can save me, I'm willing to give you that booster drug. When you have the energy, you can also treat me. At this point, the woman bit her rosy lips and twisted her delicate body, creating a seductive look against her curvaceous figure. If I really encounter some guys who are brainy, even if it's to vent my anger, I will immediately carry the woman away. Leon looked surprised and said, coincidentally, I also bought that high-dot-dose KW-74 booster drug. The helicopter is about to airdrop onto the rooftop of the hotel. I'm sorry, I'll take a step first. Of course, I can also bring it to you by the way, if you're willing to wait here. The sexy secretary was taken aback for a moment, and as Li Ang insisted on leaving, she became completely angry. To be honest, kid, the reason why I'm hiding here is because there's a centipede corpse brother nearby. As soon as I call him out, he will come over immediately. You can either carry me to the rooftop now or die together. The woman had a fierce expression on her face, and she completely spared no effort. She didn't believe that Leon would be so kind to help her get the strengthening medicine. Maybe the other party would just swallow it alone, and the centipede corpse brother would come over at any time. If she continued to stay here, she would have to wait for death. It's better to fight now. Oh, then you can scream. Anyway, you're not as fast as me. Bring the centipede corpse brother over and buy me some time to go to the rooftop and get the strengthening medicine smoothly. Liang sneered. You. You bastard. You go to hell. Kill you and feed you to the centipede corpse brother. I also have a chance to get the strengthening medicine. The secretary woman was desperate, knowing that what Liang had said could really happen, so her emotions completely spiraled out of control, disheveled like a fierce ghost, and she took out a dagger from under her skirt to stab Liang's heart. Liang's eyes narrowed, and there was indeed a conspiracy. If he had been really kind just now, perhaps his neck artery would have been punctured. By the time he was convulsing in the pool of blood, the woman had already climbed onto the rooftop, while he was completely devoured by the centipede corpse brother who came knocking at him. What a wishful thinking plan. The fight can be described as a crackling sound. Now facing the knife stabbed by the secretary, Li Ang sneered in his heart. A person dodged sideways and dodged the woman's knife. Before the other person could counterattack again, Liang quickly leaned in and pushed it against the wall, covering the other person's mouth that was about to scream, and snatched the dagger from the woman's hand. Liang approached and sneered in his ear, it's a coincidence again. What's so clever? The woman's dagger was taken away, and she felt frightened and uneasy in her heart. I suddenly remember that the KW-74 booster drug needs to be injected from the heart, and I am not very clear about the specific location of the heart. If the angle is slightly different, it would be troublesome. So I happen to take you to practice my hands first. You shouldn't mind. After finishing speaking, Liang fiercely stabbed the dagger into the woman's heart. Wait. Pushi. The secretary girl was about to beg for mercy when her beautiful eyes widened and her whole body stiffened in disbelief. Because Li Ang's knife was very precise, it pierced directly into her heart, causing severe pain. Her strength receded like a tide. Am I going to die like this? Next, Leon told her with facts. Puzzy. Puzzy. Pushi X10. With the muffled sound of piercing holes, Li Ang's expression became indifferent. He clenched his dagger and began to stab the heart of the sexy secretary woman in front of him. The crimson blood quickly dyed the opponent's white shirt red. Goo 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 goo. Thick blood overflowed from the corner of her mouth, and the sexy secretary wanted to speak, but her lungs were punctured and she could only murmur, unable to say anything. 
the frightened pupils began to become dilated and lifeless, and her delicate body slowly collapsed down the wall like noodles. In the end, her body twitched twice, clearly unable to survive. End of this chapter. Has anyone read chapter 7 of this book? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Has anyone read chapter 7 of this book? Six chapters, 20,000 words, without even a comment, even if you give me a thumbs up, end of this chapter. Chapter 8. Good Gaefe, they found you again. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Good Gaefe, they found you again blood spurted out, but Leon had no urge to vomit and even felt excited at one point. Since this woman said the centipede corpse brother is nearby, then Leon really has no choice. If you don't kill the other person, it's very likely that this woman will end up with him, such as shouting and attracting the centipede corpse brother. Although Leon claims to run faster than a woman, if the centipede corpse brother thinks he tastes better and attacks him first, Leon will only have a hiccup. If Leon doesn't retaliate, he can only watch himself being stabbed to death by his secretary, so Leon thinks it's better to take the killer first, and also practice his hand feel in advance to prepare for injecting KW-74 booster into the heart next. When this decision was truly made, the murder plan had already taken shape in Leon's mind. The reason why he immediately blocked the secretary's mouth was to prevent the other party from shouting out in panic or pain, and then stabbed the other party's heart with a knife, completely cutting off the secretary's path. After finishing all of this, Leon couldn't help but feel a sigh in his heart. Leon was extremely scared, but he probably couldn't be some kind of hidden pervert. He happened to travel through this apocalypse and was inspired, or did he awaken another twisted personality? Although he didn't see that scene with his own eyes, Leon also felt that something was wrong with his current self. Instead of believing that he was abnormal, it was better to say that when he drank mineral water before, some zombie viruses might have entered his body, affecting Leon's mental state. However, if it's just this, it won't make Leon become a corpse brother. It's not unacceptable, at least in this pathological apocalyptic corpse brother world, not being crazy won't survive. If the former Leon were to face all of this, he would definitely handle it with great care. But how could a ferocious monster like Brothershirt tell you tricks? They would only pounce fiercely, and even the most cunning methods would be useless. It is precisely because Leon has become colder and more ferocious that he can unleash that kind of vicious attack and kill the secretary woman. If Leon hesitates, both the changes and risks will increase exponentially. Who knows what will happen, and maybe both of them will die tragically. There is only one life left, and Leon doesn't want to die yet, so he can only let the secretary die. Although the handling process was a bit bloody, for Leon, who was in a state of excitement, he handled the scale well and even felt like he was still unsatisfied. I guess the secretary didn't expect to encounter a fairy pervert like Leon. If given another chance, even if she had a bone fracture, she would have to climb downstairs early to avoid this pervert. No, she would even jump out of the window at the fifth floor staircase. Leon shook his head and shook off these strange thoughts in his mind. If he had to be an extraterrestrial madman to survive in the apocalypse, he would have to head towards the path of madness and never return. The roar and rotation of the propellers could be heard overhead, indicating that the helicopter carrying KW-74 booster medicine had arrived. Without further delay, Leong decisively left and walked towards the heavenly platform. Kaka Kaka. However, shortly after Leon left, at the window of the fifth floor staircase, a huge centipede corpse brother crawled in along the outer wall. The front row of this corpse brother is undoubtedly the head of the bald male dragon brother, with blue veins and small snakes exposed on his face. His eyes are only turned outward, and he murmurs unconsciously, Chingzi, where are you? I feel so painful. The white-rolled eyes suddenly turned twice and saw the woman lying in a pool of blood. The bald man opened his big mouth and let out an excited low growl, like a python pouncing on its prey, pouncing directly. Accompanied by the clattering sound of chewing, 
as if chewing potato chips, the secretary girl's body, which had only been left with her upper body, suddenly twitched and began to spit out blood from her mouth, as if she was about to mutate. And its upper body has already fused with the centipede corpse brother. The woman's eyeballs twitched, and on her frozen and frightened face, the corners of her mouth slowly tugged upwards, laughing strangely. The secretary lowered her head and looked at Long Gu in front of her, her confused consciousness bursting with joy. Mine, little dragon, she said the bald man was a bit confused, and his consciousness even withdrew in an instant. What kind of ghost is little dragon? When I used him, I passionately called out to him dragon brother, but instead of using it, I became little dragon dragon. Oh, woman. With a loud bang, the secretary woman excitedly pressed Long Ji's bald head with both hands, and then her big mouth gradually opened, directly cracking into the root of her ear click 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 click. After enjoying it, the secretary moaned and lifted her upper body, and with her stretching movements, the centipede's lower body also began to wriggle. The secretary carefully sniffed around and finally slowly lifted her head, her face covered in veins and small snakes filled with a sneer. Hee hee, good Gejai, they found you again. The sky is drizzling with light drizzle. When Leon arrived at the rooftop, he happened to see a helicopter hovering over the hotel, and the huge wind pressure caused by the propellers blew the light rain into mist and spread it out. Leon braved the wind pressure and waved his hand, knowing that the people on the helicopter could see his gestures. But the other party did not immediately drop the KW-74 booster drug, as if they wanted Liang to confirm his identity. Liang frowned, but quickly used a dagger to engrave the big words, High Dose KW-74, on the cement floor of the rooftop. The people in the helicopter looked down and it was immediately clear. The two drivers looked at each other and nodded. Not many people know about this high dot dose KW-74 booster drug, and it is still traded on the rooftop of this hotel. Since Liang can depict it, it is obvious that it is the traitor. Quickly, a box was dropped from the helicopter, and the parachute bag on the small parachute opened, resembling a mushroom, providing tremendous cushioning force to prevent the box from being directly shattered upon landing. Liang, who was standing on the rooftop, couldn't help but get excited as he watched the box containing the potion slowly fall down. Once KW-74 booster drug is injected into the human body, it is like playing a game to cheat, and one can directly be promoted to the legitimate disciple of the Wind Spirit Moon Shadow Sect. The protagonist by Xiaofei in the manga, Brother Corpse, initially relied on this strengthening drug to overcome the early stages of weakness and have the opportunity to rise in the future. Moreover, Liang was taking a high-dot-dose version of KW-74, which is definitely more powerful than by Xiaofei who injected KW-74 earlier. But of course, Liang wouldn't have the wild idea that he could completely absorb all the energy of this strengthening potion. After all, the reason why the comic protagonist by Xiaofei can fully absorb it is because he is already destined to be extraordinary and is a descendant of a certain strong person. His potential is amazing, and he can even awaken his killing power in the end. How could his physique be poor? However, Leon felt that his ability to absorb the enhanced version of KW-74 was not crazy, but because this type of enhancer was also equipped with a neutralizing agent. If he couldn't withstand the initial enhancement, he could inject this neutralizing agent at any time. Although neutralizing it would be equivalent to offsetting the enhancer and losing the opportunity for genetic enhancement, at least he saved his life. It's like racing, once the speed gets too fast and you're about to lose control, at least you can brake and slow down. So Leon believes that as long as he is careful and assisted by neutralizing potions, the negative impact he will face during the strengthening process will not be too great. He can interrupt at any time, and even if his strength is slightly improved, it will be much stronger than ordinary people. Having this kind of strength is also his qualification and capital to survive under the hands of Brother Corpse in the future. End of this chapter Chapter 9 The Thicker Needle of a Dagger, It's Almost Unreasonable You are listening at Novel Full.audio Chapter 9 The Thicker Needle of a Dagger, 
it's almost unreasonable in the helicopter, one of the pilots couldn't help but pout and mock when he saw Leon holding onto the box containing KW-74 potion like a treasure. A group of second-rate buyers, even if they buy this kind of booster drug in one go, it's still a question of whether they dare to use it in the end, especially when they think about these guys seeing the instructions to inject the injection into the heart and their expressions like they're eating shit, I can't help but laugh, ha ha ha, a group of big idiots. The driver next to him chuckled inwardly, it's just that. I really thought this was a treasure. The United States abandoned this type of booster drug five years ago. Nowadays, the most commonly used drugs are from international terrorist organizations. As for the boss behind the scenes who dares to publicly sell these drugs to the public, he will definitely give them a lot of money. Cut, there's no time for the upper authorities to manage these things now. H City is completely chaotic, and people can escape one by one. Besides, selling fortified drugs to civilians can also increase the number of survivors, maybe they won't be happy yet. Moreover, even if the upper authorities can control it, there will definitely be strong demand for this type of drug that can directly enhance strength, so there will always be other sales channels. I bet even if I buy this kind of booster drug, there won't be more than 10 people who dare to puncture their own hearts, and even if they pass the injection level, they will have to endure the pain of cell tearing. Not to mention persisting for 10 minutes, if they can persist for 3 minutes, they will all be fierce men. Yeah, it's not so easy to significantly improve human body functions. With a cabbage price of 70,000 yuan, it's like thinking nonsense. Oh, by the way, your bald old watch seems to have bought a high dot dose version for 300,000 yuan. It seems like you're just playing tricks on your own people. Oh my. Who would be fooled if I didn't cheat my old cousin? If it were anyone else, how would they dare to believe strangers in such an apocalypse? The pilot glanced at Leon on the rooftop through the helicopter porthole while speaking. It's not the bald old watch who is in contact with him this time, but it doesn't matter. Perhaps Leon is the younger brother that his old watch has recently taken in. From a high altitude, the entire city of H looks like a cage. The corpses are the monsters inside the cage, devouring the surviving humans without restraint. However, most humans only scream in the face of the ferocious and terrifying corpses, and how dare they fight against them. Killing and bloodshed are happening all the time, more like a one-dot-sided massacre, and it is also extremely brutal. Fortunately, we are in high altitude, otherwise we would have to be chased by the corpse brother like those people. Regardless of whether he's a corpse brother or not, I'm currently flying in the sky. Is it possible that they can fly directly to the sky and bite my butt? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, that's right. If you want to bite us, why don't you just sit down and eat your butt? The other driver also laughed along. The joys and sorrows of humanity are not interconnected. This disaster may be someone else's apocalypse, but it has become a scene of others gloating, and the seemingly small cabin is filled with a joyful atmosphere. Laughing laughingly, the two drivers realized something was wrong. Because there was a laughter beside them, and it sounded as unpleasant and piercing as a night owl excitedly trying to hunt prey, with an indescribable horror. Ha ha ha. Listen carefully, the laughter seems to come from. Overhead. The two instinctively looked up and with a puff, a ferocious claw pierced through the top of the helicopter, crushing the head of one of the pilots. Red and white blood and brain plasma splattered on the face of another driver beside him. The other driver violently twitched a few times, his eyes turned white, and he foamed at the mouth, but he was actually scared to death. From a distance, a mutated giant eagle bird of prey hovered at the top of the helicopter. With its sharp claws attacking in the deaths of two pilots, the out-of-control helicopter flew sideways and finally collided with a building, causing a series of roars of war. In the drizzling rain, the dazzling flames of the explosion reflected in Leon's pupils. He watched solemnly as the helicopter crashed, and the ferocious eagle corpse brother tore open the pilot's body before finally taking off. He knew that improving his strength was urgent. Right now. Leon opened the narrow box, 
and even though he was mentally prepared, he couldn't help but take a deep breath and his eyes almost widened when he saw the things inside. Li Ang's performance is not exaggerated, because no matter how exaggerated it is, there is no exaggeration of what is inside the box. I saw two needle tubes lying quietly in the box, one filled with golden potions, rolling like lava, while the other was filled with blue potions, like deep-colored seawater, which is clearly the situation described in the Corpse Brothers manga about the KW-74 Enhancement Potion. Among them, the golden potion is used to strengthen the body's genes and enhance personal strength, while the blue potion is a powerful neutralizing potion. Once it cannot withstand the effect of the strengthening potion, it is necessary to inject this blue potion in a timely manner for neutralization. Otherwise, due to energy filling and inability to release, cells will expand and divide excessively, ultimately leading to their own explosion and death. Upon learning about the plot of this manga, Leon naturally prepared himself psychologically. He also knew that this injection needed to be injected from the heart. Although he felt a bit scared, in such an apocalypse, his own strength was not enough and he was likely to be cruelly eaten by the corpse brother. During the process of ascending the rooftop, Leong had already made a decision. Even injecting from the heart was not an unbearable thing, and once the injection was completed, as long as it could be carried for a long time, he could receive greater reinforcement. Wealth and wealth were sought after, and his strength was also the same. Leon understood all of this and had already made up his mind, but the problem is. This thing doesn't make sense at all. Who can have a syringe as thick as a baby's arm? Leon held on to this golden syringe, yes, it was just a grip, because it couldn't be taken down at all. This thing was even more powerful than the kind of syringe used to inject cows, especially the needle at the front of the syringe, which was like a dagger, with a particularly cold glow. Leon couldn't help but feel a tingling scalp, and the thought of using this dagger-like needle to pierce his heart made him feel uncomfortable. Your grandfather's. Inserting this knife is somewhat different from committing suicide. Even if I jump from the rooftop, Leon cough, it's too early to say, it seems he doesn't have a choice anymore. Now, the rooftop of this hotel is full of corpse brothers, and only by injecting this strengthening medicine to gain strength can I leave, and even have the capital to survive in the apocalypse. Moreover, this high.dose version of the booster drug was purchased by the so.called Dragon Brother on a certain website before. This is the only one here, and even if there is more, there is no more. However, even if Dragon Brother is still alive, if he sees the treasure he is longing for, he probably won't have the courage to inject it. After all, Few people dare to use a knife to insert themselves, so it's better to insert it into the heart. Leon took a deep breath and held the golden syringe in one hand, while at the same time he looked at the huge blue syringe in the other hand. Leon already knows what to do. Once he cannot persist in this strengthening, he can promptly push the neutralizing agent inside the blue syringe into his body, thereby forcibly interrupting this strengthening. Anyway, at least there is still hope for strength, and with the neutralizing and life.saving injection in hand, one will not be held back by energy and explode. Gradually, Leon's fear of this huge needle tip slowly dissipated in his heart, replaced by a hint of firmness. Piercing this thing down should be very exciting, right? Leon looked at the dagger-like needle and licked his lips, his expression uncontrollably turning into a grin. Then take a deep breath and prepare to complete the injection of the golden needle in one go. Roaming and rumbling, at this moment, a tremendous force suddenly struck, and the air heard a loud roar. That was a fleshy tail sweeping towards him, with a strong and heavy momentum, producing a continuous sound explosion. With only a bang, Leong didn't even react. The tail had already hit him hard, causing him to crash into the rooftop wall and the entire row of walls to collapse. Leong accidentally took off the blue neutralizing injection in his hand and rolled onto the other side of the rooftop. Puff. Blood spurted out, mixed with some visceral fragments. This blow directly caused serious internal injuries to Leon, and his shoulder was shattered on the spot. However, he gritted his teeth and stood up to pick up the blue needle again. 
But before Leon could start, a ferocious foot fiercely stepped on the blue syringe. Bang! The syringe was completely crushed, and a blue neutralizing potion gushed out from between the toes. Finally, mixed with rainwater, it seeped into the cracks in the ground beneath the monster's feet and disappeared completely. The only neutralizing agent is gone like this. Li Ang's face darkened as he slowly lifted his head and looked at the monster that appeared in front of him, which was the previous centipede corpse brother. However, at the forefront was the upper body of the secretary woman, who now had a terrifying face with blue veins and small snakes on her face, smiling profusely at Li Ang with a wide open mouth. Good Gejai, my heart hurts so much. Can you help me take a look at it? The secretary woman was panting delicately, reaching out and forcefully poking at the position of her heart. However, it was already empty and transparent before and after. Two chapters of little 6,000 words have been updated. Thank you for the 4,600 yuan reward for, 202302211629438322, thank you for the 3,000 yuan reward for, Chinchio Little Fox, thank you for the 2,000 yuan reward for, being bullish at a young age, and, Dumb Hair King Kong, thank you for the 100 yuan reward for, Black Shadow K, QWSF, Helpless, and, Stone Heart and Stone Meaning. Unexpectedly, a sentence from Jiu Guan that says, Is this book? Anyone reading it, can earn the support of everyone. I am truly grateful, but in fact, everyone can follow it, really. Just follow it. Of course, it would be better if you could leave more comments. Don't make Jiotong feel like it's a standalone game. Jiotong is very grateful. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Faith like fire, crazy and endless situation, nearly 3k. Add more. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Faith like fire, crazy and endless situation, nearly 3k. Add more. The light rain is drizzling down. Leung held a huge syringe filled with golden potions in his hand, and the blue syringe had already been shattered by the centipede corpse brother's foot. It's more like crushing Leon's hope. He stood in the rain, thinking a lot at this moment. Leon was an orphan from birth and was abandoned at the entrance of an orphanage from a young age. That night, it rained heavily and it was freezing cold. He lay in a thin swaddle and almost froze to death, but fortunately, he was lucky enough to be discovered and adopted by the orphanage staff in time. But Li Ang's life in the orphanage was not happy. Perhaps it was because he liked to think alone that he appeared unsociable. The other children in the orphanage always tried to bully him, and only an elderly caregiver in the orphanage treated him well. Until one day, even the elderly caregiver passed away due to a heart attack. It was the first time in Li Ang's life that he felt he had lost a loved one. Although he was unharmed, his heart was very painful. The elderly caregiver grandfather held on to Leon's hand tightly before his death, urging him not to lose hope in life. To make him stand out, even if he has been abandoned, as long as he has not yet rotted, he must strive to live a beautiful life. Leon kept in mind the teachings of his caregiver grandfather, even though his fate had been difficult in recent years and life always wanted to make him bow down, Leon insisted on living a beautiful and brilliant life. During those years, Leong had been working very hard. He worked hard to get into a key high school, then went on to get into a key university, and even entered a listed company after graduation. His performance in the company was also excellent. With persistence and hard work, Leong gradually moved towards his own success. Leong is not someone who gives up easily in his bones. Now that he holds a strengthening potion but has lost the neutralizing potion, he has reached this point. The road ahead is not only dangerous, it is simply a desperate situation, but for Leon, his life has never had a way out. If Leon had already had one kind of life before crossing, and after crossing, it would be another kind of life, but regardless of which one, it is what Leon will face next, and it is a part of his life. Even if you lose your life that is about to succeed, what if you start over again? Leung always believed in a saying, 
if the result is not what you want, then try your best before the dust settles. Although this sentence is the line of a hero character in the game of King, it did inject a powerful belief into Leon, and even became his lifelong motto. Even if it's the end of the world, even if it's the loss of a neutralizing potion, as long as his faith is firm, Leon has hope and can live beautifully in the future. Gradually, Leon's expression became firm, crazy, and fervent beliefs ignited him, as if he was about to ignite. In the wind and rain, Leon suddenly looked up at the centipede corpse brother in front of him, grinned at the secretary woman at the forefront, and said, Damn it, you really can't survive without being crazy. Then I will go completely crazy once. Play with you well. I hope you can make me feel comfortable this time. Then he stabbed his dagger like needle into his heart. This thrust was extremely fierce and decisive. Leon didn't give himself any time to hesitate, nor did he leave any way out. With a muffled sound, a dagger-like needle plunged into the depths of his heart, and a lava-like golden potion surged into his body at a visible speed. In an instant, Leon felt the world around him become incredibly quiet, with only his own heartbeat echoing and getting louder, like a pounding drum or a thunderous thunderbolt. Fury, agitation, ferocity, even unprecedented strength, and indescribable pain. Leon felt as if he was about to be torn apart by the raging energy within his body, with the sound of his own muscles cracking in his ears. The blood inside his body seemed to boil, and the world before him turned completely grayish-white. The world twisted wildly like a huge vortex, and Leon was in the vortex, losing his spiritual will at any moment. Leon gritted his teeth tightly, keeping himself awake. His eyes had undergone powerful evolution and had turned golden, like a pair of golden pupils, filled with boiling magma. His cells were constantly breaking, but they were constantly restructuring, and everything was transforming toward strength. Leon has not yet lost his final chance, as the KW-74 strengthening drug has begun to strengthen his body. He has gradually gained power far beyond that of ordinary people, and if he doesn't want this strengthening power to cause him to explode and die, then he should vent it hard. Li Ang's expression had an indescribable grimace, and it was obvious that the centipede corpse brother in front of him was the object he would use to vent his anger on next. KW-74 reinforcement not only strengthens body cells, but even the brain, making nerve reactions faster and thinking more sensitive. Therefore, Leon quickly analyzed the current situation and coping plans. He could have vented himself through external forces first, so as not to be torn apart by the filled genetic energy and die. Of course, this is only temporary stability. Next, Leon needs to take a large amount of sex cold medicine as a neutralizing agent to neutralize this violent evolutionary force and achieve a forced interruption. In the Corpse Brother manga, the protagonist by Xiaofei was also shattered by the blue neutralizing potion, so he went to the nearby rejuvenation hall to grab many cold medicines. After some preparation, after drinking them, they also had a neutralizing effect. Now that this is H City, there will inevitably be similar pharmacies, so Liang has not yet reached a dead end. He still has a great hope of survival. The current problem is to solve this centipede corpse brother that is entangled with him, so that he can free up his hands to deal with his own problems. The rain grew stronger, and the rain flowed down wildly. In Leon's eyes, each drop of rain's trajectory was like an action scene that had been slowed down many times in a movie. Moreover, the surrounding world became incredibly clear, as if it had changed from 720p to 1080p clarity, and even gradually strengthened towards blue light image quality. Not only that, Leon's hearing also became more developed, he could even hear the subtle hissing of raindrops sliding through the air. A strong sense of power surged throughout his body, and Leon clenched his fist, feeling that he could kill a cow with all his might at this moment, and it was also a cow running towards him at high speed. Undoubtedly, it is a high-dot-dose version of KW-74 booster drug. Not long after injection, there was a significant improvement in all aspects of oneself, which also gave Li Ang strong confidence. He felt it was time to warm up this centipede corpse brother. Good Gejai, string your heart, my heart together, 
string a lucky grass, string a concentric circle. The secretary girl was singing coquettishly, and the small snake veins on her face started to flow, as fierce as a demon. Then, she urged the centipede body under her to crawl and launch an attack on Leon. The opponent's body was seven or eight meters long, and they attacked at full speed, like a high dot speed roller pushing horizontally. The cement on the rooftop along the way was shattered. However, facing the killing of the centipede corpse brother, Leong directly punched him. The rain on the surface of his fist was instantly turned into mist by the burst of fist force, which was a powerful and heavy punch, and also a comprehensive outburst of Leon's initial strengthening. Bang, bang, bang. The fist hit the centipede corpse brother fiercely, and the powerful force of the fist continuously shook. The faces under the centipede corpse brother's abdomen exploded, like detonators. For a moment, blood and flesh mixed with rain splattered out, and the huge rooftop instantly turned into a scene of dismemberment and murder. Leon was inside, bathed in plasma, laughing wildly. P.S. The centipede corpse brother belongs to the mutation level, which cannot be compared to ordinary corpse brothers. Therefore, Leong, who has just been injected with a strengthening potion, cannot instantly kill the opponent. Tomorrow is still the third watch, and he will slaughter the centipede in one fell swoop. That's right, it's torture. You can't expect a perverted protagonist to surpass Corpse Brother in place, can you? Leon. Am I crazy? You kid, wait for the street fight, you. Jiu Tong, Chi Chang Yin. I'm afraid of the big bang on the street. Have you forgotten what I used to do? All the gods and Buddhas in the sky dodged, hoping that readers could save my dog's life. By the way, tomorrow's third one is a bit different. Thanks for the rewards and comments of the big players yesterday, especially the collection growth rate, which was awesome. This book has only 20 collections in a few days, but it has increased nearly 100 collections yesterday. Thanks for the encouragement of the big players, today is Monday, and the two chapters have been updated in the early morning. This is the third chapter. Before it goes on sale, the book will be updated every Monday, Wednesday and Wednesday at 12 o'clock a.m., the other time is 8 o'clock a.m., and it will continue to be even more in the early morning tomorrow. End of this chapter